Joel Dumé of France is the referee, a World Cup referee from Bordeaux. And there the match is started and the kick-off by the youngster Ronan O'Gara, the new standoff half. And right away the Scots have taken it close and Brian Redpath hoists it high. In uh, come to take it was the full-back Girvan Dempsey, but uh, he got an awkward bounce there. And so uh, Brian Redpath happy with the first kick two of the day lines, as the captain. And you can probably hear the referee telling the players to leave the big gap down the middle. This is on Ireland's 10 metres line. Keith Wood to throw. So important to get the throw right, and it was beautifully taken there by Malcolm O'Kelly. And Foley, number eight, there goes up the side, tries to uh, block off. Irish forwards feeding it back now to Stringer. Wood has a goal, an inspirational figure. Ball loose, but it'll be a penalty to Ireland for offside. And there's Budge Pountney of Northampton, who's uh, Number 10 blue. one of the great uh, flank blue. forwards in the world game nowadays. And straight away, Bill, yes, Ireland opting for the ball from that line out. And this is one area I think Ireland will try to play on today. They've probably got about half a stone a man in the pack. Uh, so that, that you'll see that in direct contrast to Scotland's lighter, more mobile pack. And a lot, obviously, depending on this young man, Ronan O'Gara, today. Philip Matthews beside me and a lovely touch kick by Ronan O'Gara, the youngster. He's, uh, he's made a very good start in his first international. Of course, he's got Peter Stringer with him. They are the Munster halfbacks. And here's another great Munsterman as well, Keith Wood, whose uh, father played for Ireland and the Lions, as his son did. Stringer feeding on. Galway couldn't quite hold it. It was a very good move. The forwards were coming. The drive on by O'Kelly. Budge Pountney feeds it out. Here's the breakout by Shield. Shield to Logan. Logan having a go. Logan trying to come inside. Very good tackle by Dennis Hickey. Scotland up to within 10 metres of the Ireland 22. Redpath out to Townsend, that's the full back in the line. Glenn Metcalf coming in. Redpath once more to Townsend. Almost an interception, but not quite. Mayer going, feeding back inside. Longstaff, the New Zealander going into the Irish 22 now. Loud blast, and it's a penalty for an infringement on the floor. Offside going round, as you can see from the referee's movement there. First chance for points to Scotland. <laughs> Kenny Logan puts first points on the board, and that'll do wonders for his own confidence. Three points to nil. Referee insisting on a big gap down the middle. Oh, good effort by Murray. And Grimes went in and caught it. Ireland will be annoyed at... Uh, not winning their own uh, throw in there. Red path, Townsend. Townsend, another monstrous punt, almost down to the 22. Dempsey back takes it well. He replies with a Gary Owen that maybe didn't go quite far enough forward. Murray in there again, showing that dexterity in ball sense as a former basketball internationalist. This is Metcalf. Metcalf. Wonderful tackle there by Brian O'Driscoll, which saved what looked like a score. Now there's a chance, an overlap up as Townsend goes, and it's going to be a score for Kenny Logan. Logan, the scorer. It was a brilliant try, beautifully created, wonderfully executed. A super score, it's 8-0. They played... Uh, 18 minutes. And that was Scotland on the counter, but a wonderful break by Glenn Metcalf. He's got Ireland all at six and seven. Again, we were talking earlier, there's Scott Grimes, Martin Leslie following up, and the ball is whipped away by Brian Redpath. Skipping out long pass two, skip two. We, we saw England deploy that against Ireland to great effect as well. Maintaining that space, and Kenny Logan really is a simple run-in. Great angle, Glenn, Glenn Metcalf. Look, wrong footing left and right. Brian O'Driscoll managed to take him down. But the Packer there, and with, this ball has moved away so quickly. Misses out both centres. To Kenny Logan, virtually unimposed. Great counter attack. And it's the man himself, Kenny Logan, with a penalty and a try to his credit. He was practicing this uh, kick yesterday and indeed today. 
Mugen then. Oh, he's drawn it in well. He is on song. A beautiful kick by Kenny Logan. Ten points to nil. 19 minutes played. Referee checking with his other touch judge, who's an Italian, Claudio Giocomel. If he's all right, no problems, he says. None at all. Kelly once more. Kelly in tremendous form uh, at the line out. Use it, the referee shouting to them. Stringer, O'Gara, O'Driscoll. That was a superb tackle on that occasion by Graham Shields. So important was O'Driscoll is strong and he's quick. The ball was knocked on by Ireland. Satin Green, knock on first. Knock on Satin Green. Well, Referee shouting away there, and uh, there's the young fellow O'Driscoll. We had a great tour of Australia with Ireland uh, in June. Townsend. And he hasn't found his touch. Aggressive bit of running there by Girvan Dempsey. Almost up to Scotland's semi line. Stringer with a lovely ball fed out. And this is a tremendous run. And it's by Mullins. Mullins, the New Zealander, into Scotland's 22. This is developing into a tremendous match with a lot of cut and thrust. Now along the line to O'Driscoll, there is a chance for Horgan, but a very, very good tackle indeed by Butch Pountney there. Stringer to Wood, switching to Hickey, there is a clear overlap, and it could be a try for the big man O'Kelly. The referee's whistle goes, his arm is raised, that is a magnificent try. It really was beautifully created, over to one flank, then to the other, and o Malcolm O'Kelly gets his first try for Ireland in his 21st international. That's cause for celebration. A wonderful bit of handling here. This was Dawson, missed out his man, and O'Kelly just made it. And Bill, I give a lot of credit to Keith Wood here. Didn't let Peter Stringer go right, because go left was the option. There must have been about a 6-3 to three there. Hickey tight doors and times the pass beautifully, as does Dawson. That's what Dawson's there for. They'll raise the roof if this goes over. The stand thinks it's there. They were right. What a moment for Ronan O'Gara in his first international match to put his name on the scoreboard. Oh, a good lot of uh, fiddling about at the back there, but... Uh, the referee has seen something, he threw his arm up in the air. Big Hayes, John Hayes, is driving forward, helped there by... Closey was the man who helped him to go further, further on. Now... Oh, that's a lovely ball! Horgan, is huge, six feet five inch centre, playing as a wing today. And Horgan made a marvellous run. There's still a chance here if they can feed it out further, out to the fullback. The fullback caught by Mayer and uh, put into touch. Flag is up. But the referee had seen an infringement coming in from the wrong side. Well, they may get the three points, Bill, but it's just a shame the ball didn't go right when Horgan made that initial first break. They, they may well get the penalty. Kieran Dawson again, who else? Ever present where the ball is. It's spun away by Stringer. And really, with a, with a two on one against him, there's no way that Gervin Dempsey is going to make it to the line. Ogara. Yes. That's uh, raised the roof. It's ten points all. I reckon they've about three minutes to go to half time. jump at the back there oh, actually it was Simon Easterby who went up there and took it, the flank forward here's Wood going notice the crowd almost get to their feet whenever he gets the ball yes that's a loud blast and clearly interfering and going over the ball each time said the referee you must get away immediately. here's a big moment for uh, this young fella As he oh, it looks good. The flags are up. Couldn't be better. Referee's whistle goes. 
for half time and it arrives with Ireland leading Scotland by 13 points to 10. One try each, a cracking match, and we've got some more fun to come in the second half, surely. And it's going to be Gregor Townsend to get the, uh, the second half started. Townsend high and far. And right away, Foley has a charge, caught by Budge Pountney. A wee bit slicey for the youngster. He'll be uh, looking and think this is a this is a hard game. He will, and uh, Peter Stringer on occasion hasn't uh, done any favours either. He's having to reach for quite a lot of those passes, take his time to settle himself down, and by the, by the time he settled himself, that Scottish back row, indeed that Scottish second row, very often are right on him. Oh, the Butch Bounty won that at the line-out. Townsend takes it, feeds on, but again, a thundering tackle. Henderson, I think it was, however, laid out nicely. Townsend once again. Bounty goes further, almost up to the Ireland 22. Redpath, a clever little kick through, and, uh, well, a little bit of bad luck there for uh, Mike Mullins. The referee playing advantage. Simpson goes, Metcalf. Metcalf thumped down in a tackle by Dawson. The kick through, the referee's allowing play to go on, and there's a great chance here for Henderson going back there. Townsend is the man who saves inside Scotland's 22, but still a very good ball for Ireland to have as Springer goes. Springer has missed out everybody. It could be a marvellous score for the big man, and Horgan has scored. The six feet five inch centre come wing has scored a brilliant try. His first try in his first international match. It's 18 points to 10 for Ireland and they played just a couple of minutes of the second half. And Ireland doing to Scotland what Scotland did to Ireland first half counter-attack very very quickly off that loose ball kicked through by Rob Henderson great transfer by Brian O'Disco who's been outstanding this match and there's no stopping Shane Horgan from that distance ball take, take, Stringer takes his time to get the right pass in he knew he had the space, again a little skip of O'Gara Folk in the East Stand will tell you about this one. Oh, O'Gara has done it again. And so the youngster is, uh, is relieved of duty for the moment. This has been a very good experience for him. Nice touch from Donald Lenehan, the manager, um, to encourage the youngster and let him know that uh, he's got a lot of international matches in front of him, surely. He threw it, and again, it's uh, young Easterby who does it. Humphreys, good thrusting run there by Henderson to the Scotland 22. And in the case of mistaken identity there, the uh, Irish scrum half was whistled away, Stringer, he didn't have the ball. However, there's an overlap here, the great chance for O'Driscoll, and O'Driscoll, the referee is asking his Dutch judge, and the try is given. And it is a splendid try, O'Driscoll the scorer, his second try for Ireland in an international match, it's 25 points to 10, they played 16 minutes of the second half. And richly deserved, Rob Henderson first taking on first and then Anthony Foley, and again, much better use of the space, what strength and speed on behalf of O'Driscoll just to make it into the corner, richly deserved, he's had an outstanding game so far, wonderful time pass, shakes off one tackle, Runs round Metcalf and squeeze in the corner. Oh, what a superb effort that is by Humphreys. Quick throw in taken. Metcalf. There's Mullins. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the greatest kick he's ever done, and yet it's not too bad, especially when you consider that Tom Smith was underneath it and didn't quite hold it first time. Red bar, Townsend. The ages to come down that one. Awkward. Mullins had to go in for it, and really a bit of untidy play there, and the referee throwing his hands up and saying, no problem, no just get on with no it. Problem, Stringer with the kick. Metcalf. Well, 
A lot of booing for that. We'll have a we'll have a look at that again shortly. Certainly, it's going to be a penalty to Ireland. Well, it just looked like Peter Stringer was pulled off the ball by the collar. Didn't quite get who it was, but the referee has seen it. Certainly, the crowd saw it, as you can hear. And it looks like Kenny Logan has been sin-binned for that challenge, uh, which, which to me was an off the show, off totally off the ball. Peter String was seen to be grabbed by the collar. I can only presume that the referee has, uh, has assumed or has been told by the touch judges that it was um, Scotland's number 11, Kenny Logan, the guilty party. And uh, this really would lose the bit. It's high enough. And it's far enough. That is an incredible kick. No wind assistance to him. That's George Graham. You can always tell he rides low in the water, but he rides pretty quick. Nicely out again to Townsend. Switch back inside. Simpson goes further. That's the Ireland 22. Townsend once again. And a huge hoof downfield. And this is going to be a tremendous race. Humphreys is in the lead. And if Humphreys can control this, it has to be in a dramatic try. And it is. The whole of Ireland is going potty here. The replacements are on the field as well. Humphreys is simply delighted. A conversion, a penalty and a try. What a day he's having as well. It's 35 points to 10 for Ireland. And, well, that's just about it. And again, another loose ball in the Scottish midfield, and Ireland this time counter-attacking. Mike, great kick through, David Humphreys, he's, not, he's been on this field less than a half, but he's nearly made this game his own as well. Tying this game up for Ireland and, and contributing a fine try to boot. Straight through, big hoof up, and George Graham, fresh legs and all, he was never going to catch David Humphreys. You can see the relief and the delight coming out in the Irish players' faces. They've, they've gone through an awful lot of the last number of weeks. In fact, they've gone through a lot since the World Cup and the defeat in, in Lens by Argentina. And David Humphreys himself in his 23rd international match will uh, attempt to convert from uh, there. Looks easy enough from here, doesn't it? Well, he made it look very easy. And so uh, he's come on as a replacement. And he's put on four scores, Ireland leading 37 points to 10. And so is that, laddie, he's done tremendous. Or Simon Easterby, the 24-year-old, has given Ireland an additional line-out presence. Singing all round the ground here as Dawson has a go on halfway. Fine, fine. The switch. Humphreys once again, knowing that all they have to do is make Scotland play down there in their own 22. And that is a superb kick again. Dutch judges' flag is raised, and uh, Humphreys has written, has put his imprint on this second half since he came on. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you couldn't have a line out closer to a goal line than that. This is, uh, this is the kind of flap Scotland had. And uh, yes, there, Kenny Logan back, and, and the upshot is this line out. Now then, Keith Wood has a number of targets. Oh, very well taken there by Jeremy Davidson. The drive going, the referee was there, and in fact, he's given the try. He's shouting, let the ball go, and in fact, it's Keith Wood himself who has scored, and that'll be one of the most popular tries ever scored. Not only that, it's his 10th try in his 33rd international. Well, Keith Wood will have enjoyed this one, not, not only for the manner in which it was scored, but under the circumstances, which is really just copper fast and what has been a tremendous Irish performance, particularly in the second half. A lot of people thought that this Irish pack would not have the mobility to contend with the fast Scottish rucking game, but they've actually turned the tables, they've, they've got the control, they've played this game the way, the way Munster have played throughout their European Championship, and they've dominated up front. And this last try was a real sign of that. It really was a typical forwards try, and you can see the referee, Joe Dumid, was quite sure that the try had been scored, although George Graham didn't quite agree. 
He hasn't done it again. Oh, yes, he has. Humphreys on song. Four goals and a try for him. 44 points to 10, would you believe? This has been a rejuvenated Irish side and reflects uh, a lot of credit on the coach Warren Gartman and his uh, assistant Eddie O'Sullivan. Mayer had a go. Pountney goes further. Pountney so often no, first no, to no. the breakdown. Okay. Out from Nicol. Leslie feeds on. And there's a great chance there for Logan. Logan still going. Logan just half checked and it's a try for Metcalf. Glenn Metcalf brilliantly positioned in support and so a consolation try for the Scots 44 points to 15 there's still, uh, well, there's still quite a bit of time to go 6 minutes or so to go and a bit of play left in the Scots a wonderful work in the middle of the park Kenny Logan just evades the tackle of Peter Stringer Logan Oh, they looked at each other and they decided it went over. And so Kenny Logan, too, is having a very useful day indeed. He had 178 points before this game started and he's had a try, a penalty and two conversions. Well, the Scottish supporters by the looks and the faces there, but there's a lot of singing round the ground. They'll be celebrating all over Ireland tonight because this has been a very good performance. She taken at the back by Leslie. The drive on again by Grimes. Almost up to the island 22. Michael feeds out once more. All the Scottish back. Yes, they're beginning to shift over to the right hand side. All the Scottish backs, I was saying, they were all on the one side, but they've changed Pountney once again. And I uh, notice uh, Closey cleverly going down in the tackle and, and hoping to block off the ball. Smith went a bit further, Nickel again, Pountney once more, he's so often uh, in it with the ball in his hands, good blast, and the tap penalty was taken quickly by Nickel. Metcalf was up in the line, but Horgan got the ball eventually, but not 10, not 10, not not 10, 10. metres back, and so it's a penalty to the Scots, almost in front of the Ireland post. George Graham has a go, George Graham... Great effort by George Graham, his first try for Scotland in an international, his 13th international. And, uh, well, Scotland deserved that on the pressure they exerted, but George Graham seems to have damaged his shoulder as he reached out to touchdown. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> Ireland won't be too pleased with the manner in which they're letting Scotland uh, close the gap in, ter on, in terms of the scoreboard. Yes, to get the game is well and truly over. Andy Nicholl takes a quick one, and really from there, two missed tackles. Anthony Foley won't be too pleased himself. It's just a little bit of lack of concentration, a feeling that, I suppose, from an Irish point of view, is, hey, guys, this game is over. What are you, what no. are you doing? <laughs> Let's go in. Let's have a bath. And so, so David Humphreys gets it started. Oh, sliced that one a little bit. In came Sheil. Lovely bit of work by him. Let's have all. No ends. Nicely out from Nico. Townsend it was, and the fullback was up in the line, but uh, there may have been running across. Uh, Kenny Logan seemed to run across, and Metcalf was there as well. Certainly it was that running across and obstructing, and Humphreys knows that that kick is the last one of the match. The Irish arms are raised, the players cuddle each other, the crowd are absolutely thrilled, and no wonder, because this has been an astonishing performance by Ireland. And what is more, they reach something of a milestone with this first win over Scotland since 1988. 11 defeats and a draw with Scotland in a row. That's been brought to an end. Ireland the winners, 44 points to 22.